So, hi guys. I, this is Miss Rose from the library, and we want to thank you all for coming. And this is Liz from the color palette, and she Hello. will help you guys paint a shark. All right? All right, sounds good. I'm also recording it if anyone wants it for afterwards. Um, all right, so you have four colors, two blues, gray, and black, right? Is that what I gave you? Is that right? <laughs> I'm confusing with the other shark. But you have your four colors and your brush, and you need a bucket or a jar or something with water to clean your brush off when we switch colors. And you need a towel or a rag or a paper towel or something to dry in between, all right? So, we're going to start with, you could use the brush I gave you. If you guys have brushes that you like better, you can use your own brushes. It doesn't matter. But we're going to use a fairly small brush for this. And just make sure it's clean. I'm still going to clean mine out from the class before this. And we're going to take the darker blue. And we're just going to go a little less, a little lower than halfway. So we want our shark to be about this big. So probably right about here. We're going to take our brush. We'll hold it sideways like this, not like this, but like, so it's like this, not like this. And we're going to make waves. So you guys know how to make waves. We've done it forever. So we're just going to go like this. And you can do as many or as little as you want. If you can see mine is, when I paint like this, sometimes I get a little crooked. <laughs> but we're going to paint all that blue, so I'm going to straighten it out. Easy peasy, no problem. And then we'll just fill them in. But you could do that first. All right. This is like my favorite blue that I have. All right, and we're going to take, when you're ready, which everyone's got their waves, good? Thumbs up. All right, so you can take a little bit of the light blue and a little bit of the dark blue and kind of mix them together in this area. Just going like this, back and forth. I'm just going to show you quick and then you can go on your own. Just so it's not so flat. The only thing is you do need the light blue for the sky. So don't use it all. We want to use mainly dark down here. But we want to mix it in so it's not so flat. And I find if I keep doing the same wave shape, that looks really cool too. All the way down. And this brush that I gave you works good for that. So I'm just going to keep going all the way down. Keep doing that motion. If you want to do different, if you want to just go back and forth, that's cool too. But this is kind of a cool texture. Makes it a little more 3D. And you want to spread it because you do want it to dry. If you have like big chunks of paint, it really takes a while to dry.
How's everyone doing with this? Good? It's pretty relaxing, right? So I'm going to finish those up all the way to the bottom. It's a little different than the sample that I did, but sometimes I like to show different options, especially you guys um, are a little older than the kids, so you can handle it. I like this. This might be the new sample in the studio. I like this, uh, these waves here. All right, that looks cool. So how'd you guys do it, like this? Or more smooth like this? <laughs> I'm liking this one. How are you guys doing with that water, all right? Do you need more time? Are you good to next step? Next step, thumbs up? All right, I'll wait a couple minutes, sorry. That's why I like to, you, you guys have your camera on, I can see. So when you are done, you can clean your brush out and dry it because the next color we're going to do is just light blue. So with just the light blue, we're going to start up at the top 
This is going to be the top of your shark. And we're going to come down like this into the water. So up and then down by the water. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. And this is basically going to be the outline of the shark, but we're gonna use it to paint the sky first because the sky is in the background. So you do want to kind of, if you can, you always want to start with the background. So once you have that, again, at this point, if you do have a bigger brush at home, you could definitely use it because we're just going to paint all of this the light blue. If not, the brush I gave you works pretty good too if you just go back and forth. So we're going to use all the light blue for this. All right, so we'll just finish in the sky. Oh, excuse me. So I'm just making like lines with this brush, which will also make some texture in the sky, but you can do it however you like. And then when you get to the bottom here, you can go around the waves. Don't worry if you mix it in a little bit because we're gonna put like a wave crashing, uh, some gray for the waves crashing on there at the end. Other
How's everyone doing on this? I know it takes a while with this little brush. There's only a few of you on camera, so if you're good, you can give me a thumbs up whenever you're ready. I see thumbs. All right, everyone's cool. All right, now you're gonna just wipe. You don't need, you can wash it. You can just take the blue up. We're gonna use the dark blue alone now by itself. And we're just gonna dip in the dark blue and we're gonna make the outside shape or the inside shape, I'm sorry, of the shark. Now you don't want to be too close in there. We kind of want a big gray area so we have room for the mouth and we'll mask out the teeth. So we'll just do this. Same way we did the lighter. And once you have that, you could fill in. This is gonna be all the dark blue. If you start dragging the sky, just wipe it off because the sky is still wet. You could just wipe it off with your napkin and just keep going. We just definitely want the shark to be darker so it pops out of the sky.
All right, so how's that? Are you guys done or you got any more time? Thumb up, thumb up. Oh, we're ready. You guys are quicker than me. All right, so wash your brush out. And we are going to use gray. We're going to do gray and we're going to do a shape as big as you can, like a rainbow shape for the mouth. We want to make it big because we got to definitely just draw out the teeth. So I'm even making it bigger than this one. And then we're just going to connect the bottom just a little bit, not as big of a rainbow, just a little lift in there. And then once you have that, we'll paint all this in gray. And if you start to pick up some of the dark blue, just wipe it off. Just go carefully like in between the sides because the gray and the blue color make like it could make like a greenish. So you just want to wipe that off if that happens. So I'll give you guys a minute to finish that up. And if you already, if you have, you can grab a pencil if you have one. You don't need it, but if you have it, it would be helpful. So you guys good for the next step? All right, cool. So while you have gray, you're gonna put a little bit of gray on the side of your brush. And this is also optional, but give it a shot. We're just gonna over here where the blue is, cause it's almost the same blue. We're just gonna dab some gray to make it just look like the waves crashing a little. 
and it's okay if it the blue and the gray and the light blue and the, they all mix together. We're just doing this to look like waves crashing a bit. So it separates the shark from the blue. It's probably hard, it might be a little hard to see on mine, but. You could play with it a little bit. Then after that, then you can clean your brush and we'll grab your pencil if you have it. All right, you guys ready for the pencil? Do you guys have a pencil? Okay, so I'm gonna make teeth just because the only step we have left now are the, teeth, the black inside of the mouth and the eyes. But I'm gonna draw the teeth on and I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger than this because we don't have the white paint. So we're just gonna use the white of the canvas. So I'm gonna do, I don't know yet, let's see if you can see this. I'm going to do right in the middle of the mouth. I'm going to go down and back up. Now you can make as many teeth as you want. I just think the big, the bigger, the easier it will be with the black. So I'm going to do one, two, and then I'm going to do three. And then I'm going to do the same three on the other side. So I'll just do. Sorry, I'm drawing this like upside down and backwards, so bear with me. See, I'm very uneven, so I'm gonna lay it down and fix it, but you get the point. And of course, if you have some white paint at home, you could always uh, use it, but it's not necessary. And then you can draw in the bottom teeth as well, which I like to do the same way. I got a little gray over here, but that's all right. Um, like to do the same way. Uh, we'll do four. So I'll start in the middle, directly down from this one. And we'll do a triangle here and a triangle here. And I'll do then on the other side, the same thing. All right. So check those, make sure they're all right. Fix that a little bit. So all we have left now is black. Once you have your teeth drawn, you guys have the teeth drawn. You ready for the black? Okay. So we're just gonna take the brush and we'll do the easy part first, which is just the eyes. So you're just gonna do a little round bump there. And then, you know, same on the other side. We'll try to get it even. I might have to take a step back. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> I usually play, like to paint flat. So the easel and being on the side of it sometimes throw me off. So. So then with the eyes, you can carefully fill them in because they're just kind of like bulging out of his head.
Are you guys good with the eyes? All right, so now we gotta do the teeth. So I was thinking, I know we drew them, but it might get a little tricky to get in between using this brush. So you could always use the other side to just dip in some black and kind of go around the teeth that you drew. So I'm gonna try that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a little more like a pencil as opposed to a brush. And we'll go around the edges to kind of mask out the teeth. And you know, you're gonna have to keep dipping because it's not a brush, it's just plastic. But that's a little bit neater than just going in there with the brush. Are you guys trying the end of the brush or just going in there with the <laughs> end of the brush? I'm at least just trying to get in the corners. And then I'll fill it in. Oh, I see you guys are done. That looks awesome. Oh, I better move it then. You guys are fast. All right, I'm going to do it quick and then I just want to get a picture with everybody. You know, all everyone's showing everyone's paintings. Just a shot of that. There we go. I got the teeth. So how are you guys doing? Good on the teeth? Are you ready for like a quick group shot to show each other what we did?